Earlier in the show, Claire made us turkey chili verde. She's back now with slow cooker chicken taco chili. Oh, sounds good. Here's what you need to make it to. A can of whole tomatoes, some brown sugar, smoked paprika, onion powder, garlic powder, salt, chili flakes, chicken thighs, black beans, frozen corn, and lime juice. Okay, Claire, how do we start this chili? I, I can't wait to dig in. I know, this is so good. This was a total accident. I accidentally <laughs> added too much liquid one time. I was putting, I put. I love to put um, chicken thighs into the slow cooker because they get so tender. But for some reason, I don't know, my head wasn't on and I added too much liquid. And I looked at them afterwards and I thought, oh, this looks like chili. Let's throw some black beans and corns in there <laughs> and the corn and let's, let's call that chili. So this is slow cooker, oh, slow cooker season. And one of the things that drives me crazy about slow cookers, do you use your slow cooker a lot, Trace? This is the time of year we pull that sucker out and we're using it a lot. So something that drives me crazy, and tell me if you agree, when you've got to do a ton of work before you put stuff into the oh. slow cooker, I just want to chuck stuff in there and forget about it, right? What is the point? I mean, listen, I know there are recipes where they want you to brown, they want you to brown the meat and do stuff in a pan and then put it in the slow cooker. I like the recipes where you just throw it all in the slow cooker. So much easier. And that's, and that's why we're on the same page. So that's just a can of tomatoes and I've got a whole ton of spices here. Garlic powder, onion powder, salt, a little bit of brown sugar for that hint of sweetness, and then smoked paprika, which is one of my eight essential spices. I use it all the time. I absolutely love it. It's not expensive, it's not fancy, or you don't have to go to a special store to get it, but it is so delicious. And it adds this amazing smokiness to this whole dish. So the tomatoes and all the spices go in there, and then I use my favorite handy dandy uh, tomato. Uh, pota what is that thing? Tomato <laughs> masher today. It's a potato masher, and then you just oh, you make a whole mess. You got tomatoes squirting all over the place, and you just squash those into a nice even layer. And then I'm going to take boneless, skinless chicken thighs and add them. So I really prefer to use chicken thighs here, even if you're not a thigh person, if you're more of a breast person. Use the thigh because the thigh is perfect for the slow cooker. It's tender, it's juicy, it's moist. The chicken breast can get a little dry. The thigh is primo. So these are the thighs and as discussed, we are not doing a single darn thing to this beforehand. These are just going right into that melange of tomatoes and brown sugar and spices. And all I'm gonna do is just make sure they're in there and really underneath the tomato mixture. The lid goes on and we slow cook for about four hours. So I do mine on high for four hours. You know, it really depends on the slow cooker. Um, but my slow cooker will switch to warm after four hours and, and then I just ignore it until supper time. Mm. And after that, after it's really braised for that amount of time, I took a little bit out to show you. What happens is the chicken becomes so tender that I can just get in there and it literally falls apart. It's like making pulled pork. You know how it just absolutely falls apart? Mm -hmm. And so you have these beautiful, lovely chunks and you've got this amazing sauce. Once that happens, into the slow cooker, you got your black beans, you got your frozen corn, because you know I love my use of frozen corn, and that just has to heat up. So, you know, 10, 15 minutes and that'll be nice and hot. Finish it with a bit of fresh lime juice. This is key. And you have got an absolutely incredible uh, dinner. Now, to serve this chili, of course, you can serve chili however you want. You know, serve it on baked potato, serve it on rice. Thank you. That recipe is, of course, on our website. It's cityline.tv. Uh, so go there often for all of the recipes from the show.